What is metabolism and what does it mean? I'm Stefan Ramsey from SXT Fit. Today we're going to talk about metabolism. What is it? What does it mean? What's it made out of? Let's get into it. So metabolism is the total amount of chemical reactions that go on in our living cells. What does that mean? Well, metabolism has two main components, anabolism and catabolism. So comment below if you've heard of anabolic steroids. Yeah, so we take out the steroids and what we're left with, anabolic, what does it mean? Building up. So anabolism means building up, catabolism means breaking down. You combine the two together and the sum of all of them together is metabolism. So that's really what it is. Let's go through a couple of examples. So let's just say we uh, did a workout at the gym and after the workout, we have a banana and we have some milk. So the banana contains fructose. Fructose in the liver will then form glucose with other molecules. So glucose will travel around the bloodstream and it will be stored as glycogen in the muscles and in the liver. So there we have an example of taking small molecules and building it up into something bigger, which is anabolism. What about the milk? Well, the milk contains fats and it also contains proteins. So we break down through the digestive process, the proteins and the fats into small things. And once we digest them, those small things have to get built up back into big things. So let's just say we've absorbed the proteins and the fats and now we're gonna build them back up again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those fats in the form of free fatty acids and glycerides, and we're gonna build them up to be stored into our fatty tissue as triglycerides, okay? And what about the proteins? We, we take the protein as a whole, we, we digest it into amino acids, and then we gotta build it back up again. So we take those amino acids and we build them up into proteins such as our muscles. So we've done the workout, we've had a bit of milk, the milk contains casein and whey proteins, we take those proteins, we break them down to amino acids because we've got to absorb them and then we build them back up to proteins and that's how we're going to build our muscles, okay? Because we don't store amino acids, but we use them. So we're going to use them to build up our muscle proteins. Does that make sense? Comment below if you understood that or if you didn't. Um, and that's an example of anabolism, building up. Okay, let's go through an example of catabolism, breaking down. So let's just say uh, we haven't had a meal for six hours and the meal that we did have was really small. So what happens is our body still needs energy. Our brain needs energy. We need to breathe. Uh, we might be walking around. So we still need energy. So what does our body do? Well, it breaks down the stored stuff to basically get mobile stuff. So let's go through an example. We have glycogen, which is the stored form of glucose. So we take, you know, fructose, from the banana, we take it into our body and we build it up to store it as glycogen in the muscle and the liver. But once it's stored, we still need to use it later on. And now it's later on, it's six hours later. So our body takes that glycogen and it breaks it down into glucose, which gets transported in the bloodstream to the tissues and most importantly to the brain because glucose is the brain's preferred fuel source. That's why anyone doing the keto diet Anyone starving themselves of carbs, you're gonna feel it up here, okay? Because the brain likes carbs. So we break down glycogen to get glucose. Then uh, we're also gonna break down triglycerides. Into what? Well, into what they're made of. Three fatty acids and a glycerol molecule. So what our body does is it can use the fatty acids for ketones and it can use the glycerol to be transported into a glucose-based molecule for energy for the brain again, okay? And what our body's also gonna do is it's gonna break down those proteins, so it's gonna start breaking down our muscles, okay, to form amino acids. And the amino acids are gonna be used for, for two main things. They're gonna be used for other amino acids, which can be used for hormones, etc., or it can be used for glucose as well. We have certain amino acids that can be uh, used for uh, glucose. Okay, so that's catabolism, breaking things down. Okay, now just, just to reiterate, um, a lot of people are scared that you know if you don't eat for six hours, your muscles are gonna break down. Not at all, okay? Um, you've got enough glucose to last you one and a half days. So unless you're starving yourself for 15, 35, or 3,000 hours, um, your muscles aren't gonna halve in six hours, okay? Uh, what, what I'm talking about here is the overall breakdown, 
but the breakdown is gonna be in proportion to what you have. So if you've got heaps of glycogen, you might only be breaking down a small amount of muscle and a small amount of fat, if that makes sense, yeah? So it's not, you know, it's not some even Stevens, you break 100% glycogen, 100% muscle, it's not that, it's just the proportion of what you have left, okay? So if you've got no carbs left, you've got no glycogen, then yes, you'll be breaking down heaps of fat, and heaps of muscle, but we can get into the energy systems later. So this is a recap. Metabolism is the sum of all the chemical reactions, including the building up, anabolism, and the breaking down of nutrients. So hopefully that helped. That's metabolism. Uh, please comment below if you like it. Please like it. Please subscribe and um, wait for next week's video, 8 p.m. Uh, every Sunday night. Thank you, guys.